if you have done a lot of love spells and yet your partner did not change, you didn't see any results, I want you to go and try this tip I want to give you today. And I believe you are going to see a very huge changes. This is one of the spells we've tried and it is working. I want to share it with you today. I posted one some years ago and uh, today I bring you another one based on popular requests. If your partner does not love you or he or she is not reciprocating the kind of love you are giving him or her, just go and try this and you are going to have a huge testimony. Or you are a married man or a married woman, if you are a married man and your wife is not loving you, the love is not there as compared to when you just got married or when you were dating. Go and try this. This happens mostly to the married, uh, married men. So the love will be sweet at the beginning and all of a sudden before you know it, you just see that uh, the love is not there anymore. The partner is not, your husband is not loving you again, your wife is not loving you. If this is your case, if this is your problem, I want you to go and try this. Or even if you are not a married person, if you, are, if you have a partner that you love very well, uh, but the love is not there anymore. So you have to go and try this. But before I will share today's tip with you, I want to give you a piece of advice. If you want this to work for you perfectly. First, you have to check compatibility of your partner. Some people don't know this. And uh, all they will see is that uh, they, are, they are just trying every spell and it is not working. So one of the factors that can make love spells not to work for you is if you are doing it on someone which you are not compatible with. So you are, the work may be perfect. The work may be very effective. But because you are not compatible spiritually, there's no way it will work. Because I said it in one of my videos that we as humans, we have different identities. We have different stars. And if you are dating someone with the wrong star, or you're married someone with the wrong star, no matter the love spell, no matter the prayer, or no matter the trial, it is what it will always end up you, it will always end up not working. Okay? So you have to firstly check if you are compatible with this person. So that uh, whatever you do will not backfire or you will not have any problem afterwards so secondly if you have been date if you are married you know you cannot uh you cannot maybe you've born you've had kids together and this will be very hard to say you want to break away even after you check and you see that you are not compatible anymore it's not possible you've married them so there's a way to do it but it is best used for people who are not married yet to check so i'm not saying necessarily that you should go and check before you do this but it is necessary when you are dating someone or before you do this to go and check before tying them together because this work i want to share with you today is very potent and this also works extensively to the people that uh, maybe you have a boss your boss does not love you or your your so you have a particular person that wants to you want them to love you you can do this you are going to get results please don't do this if you know that you don't love the person or you just want to have fun with the person you are not really in love with this person don't try this at all okay don't try this so you you have to make sure that this thing i want to do it is from the bottom of my heart before you do this it is a warning you don't do you, you don't just go and do it anyhow without having the love of the person in mind but if truly you love a partner but the, the, your partner is not reciprocating the love this is going to help a lot now you are going to need just few items to get this done i'm going to list the item now and uh, you follow it very strictly don't make any mistake because a single mistake can make it not to work okay now to get this done you are going to get a corn you are going to buy a corn or grains any one of them you can find you are going to buy something like this so here in nigeria they say something like this so and uh, this contains a lot of corns a lot of uh, corn seeds seeds 
otherwise known as uh, grains or whatever. So this is corn, corn. I mean for maize. So when it is extra extracted from mix from the husk, you will get something like this. This is corn. Uh, this is corn seed. You are going to get it. So you are going to buy. This one is just hundred naira. So you can get this one as uh, low as hundred naira in Nigeria currency, which is like uh, one cent or two cents in American US dollars. In the US dollars, okay. So you are going to get this corn, and when you get this corn, you are going to take twenty one out of this. You are going to take twenty one. Twenty one. You you can see this is how it looks. So you are going to count twenty one. You can buy. The one as big as this but you only need 21 20 seeds uh, 21 seeds 21 seeds of of that corn is what you need so you are going to count 21 into something you can get a cup and count it 21 it must not decrease it must not increase it must not exceed that amount 21 grains you, mu you will count it one by one make sure it is 21 don't make a single mistake and it is not based on gender don't use nine don't use seven 21 either male or female you are doing this make sure you count it to 21 okay now after counting it into a cup you get a spoon of salt a spoon of salt get it closer to you then you get an go and get an empty bottle something like this so when you get an empty bottle now this is how you are going to do it you will get a plain white paper a plain white paper where where there's nothing on it something like this so this one is not plain you are going to i'm just using this as an instance you're going to get a plain white paper that nothing is written or designed on it not not something like this something that is plain something like this you will make an arrow you will draw an arrow pointing towards the name you write on top here now you see so write an arrow pointing to his name then the the arrow will be two heads we are be having two heads like a spear now this is how you are going to do it exactly like this so now in between in between this arrow you are going to draw something like a loaf something like a love uh -huh, a love love sign you can see now you are going to draw it privately more than this so i'm just using this for uh clarifications now you are going to draw the arrow facing up and down okay now you write his name on top here so now this is what uh, this is this uh, this is what i want you to do i when i need your attention the most if you are the one if you are a woman and you want a man a particular man to love you you are going to write your name on top instead of his name here your name will be on top of the plain paper you write you firstly write your name now you are maybe you are uh you are sandra or you are anita your name is mary or something you write your name here on top if you are the one doing it your name will be on top here then the name of that your partner that want, that you wants to love you you will write his name you will write his name here you will write his name under here now you've written your name assuming i'm a man and i want a particular woman to love me to reciprocate the love of a partner to be loving me you understand i will write my name first then i will write her name maybe her name is Sandra, I will write Sandra. Listen carefully, don't make mistake because any mistake can make it not to work. You will write a full name, Sandra, Sandra, John, or whatever, a full name. The name that people know her with. I mean, a real name, the name that people call her. So you are going to write her name like this. Now you've written your name on top, you write his, uh, her name here. I'm the man here, then I wrote their name here. Now listen carefully. Take the seeds of the corn, that corn, that 21 you counted. It must not miss. You will put it on your left palm. You will put it on your left palm like this. This is the corn now. 
after you've written the names, you put the corn on your left palm, you say the prayer just as you wish for him to be loving you for, or for her to be loving you. You say your prayer very well. Say your mind, say your prayer after praying to it very well. Now, this is the where I need your attention the most. You will take nine out of that corn if you are a man. Out of that 21 cons you counted and you spray to it, you will take nine out. Nine out of it. You will put it inside an empty bottle like this. If you are a woman, if you are a lady and you want a particular man to love you, you're going, you are going to take seven out of that 21 cons, put it inside an empty bottle like this. Okay? Now, you are going to put half of that salt. I told you at the beginning of this video that you're going to get a spoonful of salt. Then you are going to pour the half of that salt on top of the seven or nine corn you put inside the bottle. Then the name you written, the name you, you wrote, listen carefully, the name you wrote, this is where I need your attention. If you want this to work for you, you must do it exactly the way I'm prescribing, okay? Now, check this. You will see at the middle where you wrote love, this sign here. You are going to put a little of that salt. It's better to use a sea salt. But if you can find a sea salt, you can use any salt or table salt, any one you can find. But a sea salt is better used for this. So now you put the salt at the middle of this here. Then you tie the paper gently. Let me show you clearly so that you can see. This is it. Assuming this is your plain paper, then you will put the salt. You will put the salt at the middle of here. When you put the salt here, you will tie it gently with white threads. With white thread. I mean the thread they use you they use for clothes, for clothing materials. The thread, I mean thread. So get that thread and tie it with white thread. A white thread, not the black and white, but white thread. You are going to tie it very well. The salt will be in the middle. You will just make sure you tie it carefully and you make sure the salt is at this particular joint, at this particular sign. You put the salt here, then tie it. Tie it very well. After tying it very well with white uh with white uh thread you are going to put it inside this bottle like this now let me show you for for more clearance one two three four five six seven eight Nine, because I'm a man, I'm, I'm doing it for the purpose of a particular woman to love me. Now, you will now put the one you tied with black and white thread, put it on it like this. Then cover it instantly. So now the sort is here. The corn, you counted nine or seven is here. The name you written the and you tie with sort is also here again. You tie it very well. Close it just like that. You can shake it together. You will be, you'll be putting, you will put it anywhere in your house. It can be in your bedroom. So any time you see that maybe the man is not doing well again, is not loving, or the love is reducing, just go where you put it. Just shake it like this. The man will be bothered. It will be. I mean, the love, you, your love will be pressing his mind. Just as you are shaking it in your hair like this. Be shaking it. Be mixing it like don't open the bottle, make sure you tighten it very well. Get a very plastic bottle or any bottle of your choice, but make sure it is tightened very well. It is not don't don't let it loose. You'll be shaking it, go and put it anywhere in your house. You'll be shaking it like this. And when you are tired of the love or whatever, you can just open the bottle, open the bottle and pour everything away. Then uh, the man is released. Now, this is now you know this is the last part. The remaining corn, the remaining corns, I mean, you counted, you take nine or seven out of that corns. So the remaining one now, 
you will put a little salt with it in your hand like this. Put a little salt. Use the second hand to mix it. After you've, you know, you've counted 21 of this corn and you've used 7 for this or 9 for this. You've taken 7 out of this or 9 out of this into this bottle. Now, the remaining corns, you are going to pray to it after adding a little salt to it in your left palm like this. Then you are going to quickly throw it for an animal. This is where I need your attention. So you can do this today, the remaining corn, and go and throw it for animal the second day. But before you throw it to animal, it is best, it is best done early in the morning. Okay? If you want to do it and get a perfect result, it is better to do it early in the morning, as early as 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. to pray to it. Or maybe any moment, but it is best done early in the morning before you start talking to people. You pray to the corn very well. Say your mind. Say whatever you want. Then go and throw it for animals to eat. The animal can be ghosts, can be sheep, can be uh, anything that will just eat the corn. It can be bears. You just throw it where there's animals that can hit it. You, you understand? You, you throw it. So you can keep it in something, then go and throw it later. If you can't find the animal instantly, keep it somewhere and go and throw it away later, okay? And that's how you do it. After doing it like that, this one, you will keep it at your house and will be taking it to your hair constantly. Like maybe every seven, seven days, you'll be taking it like this. Every seven, seven days, you'll be shaking it. You don't need to say any prayer. You can say any prayer if you like, but you'll be shaking the bottle. But if you don't wish to be shaking, you just keep it in your house. Uh, be, in case you are not satisfied with the, with the man or whatever, you don't need the man or woman again. But if you want it to be more permanent, to be permanent forever, uh, I won't say it here. If you comment under this video, if this video is doing well, and you comment, I'm going to tell you how you can uh, what you can do with this bottle to make it more permanent for people that are husband and wife but it is not advisable if you are just with a partner that maybe you are not seeing any future with to go and, to go and do the permanent one so that is it that's how you do it if you find this helpful please make sure you like this video you share and you subscribe yes it will do a lot if you share it if you like and comment so that more tips like this can be I still remain your spiritualist. If I did me back your day, next time I will be coming your screen with a deep spiritual tip. Remain blessed.